Yeah, they're saying Stop admin. I guess I'm ready. I'm always admin. ready. I'm always ready. Always Prima ready. Turtle, of course, guys, is the admin. Huge shout out to him for organizing this tournament. Follow him. Um, yeah, follow him at Creamy Turtle. Sick name. It's a pretty sick name. I guess he loves Creamy Turtle. He's such a classy cool. guy, first of all. Yeah, man. Cool dude. Cool dude. Like, he's doing a fantastic job. We're bro. live on the Korean server this. casting a tournament for the Koreans that they can play on their own latency. And it's all because Creamy Turtle was able to organize it. So, shout out to that guy. Please follow him on Twitter at Creamy Turtle. Uh, doing so much for esports. He's doing the opposite of killing esports. The opposite of it. But, uh, Promise, why don't you go ahead and introduce these two wonderful gentlemen? Let's go ahead, man. We have Slayer's Crank in the upper left position here of Ohana. He is going to be playing as the pink Protoss player. And in the lower right position, same map. It is going to be our orange Protoss player, MVP Tails, PvP Finals. Guys, this is going to be a best of five game number one. And man, what what do you think we're going to see from uh, from Tails? There's a lot of things we can talk about. There's a lot of things to think about. Uh, one of which is Tails watched every single game of the last series. So he saw Crank's PvP. Um, so does he try to formulate something to directly counter that? Do, is he a little bit more cautious with his, with his scouting? What exactly is he going to look for? How is this going to affect his build? Um, okay, we had a PvP on this map between Crank and uh, Spider-Man. Um, trying to think what happened in that one. Spider-Man, I like that. Yeah, man. <laughs> what was his actual name? I keep forgetting. Uh, Spider... Oh, I can't even remember it. <laughs> right when I said Spider-Man, <laughs> I just forgot what his other name was. But I, uh, I called him Spider-Man in the last You know what, tournament. here, go on and I'm gonna try to remember it. Okay. Um, well, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think. Sorry. What was it? spider swim Yeah, spider swim Yeah, duh. Okay, now I remember. Um, I always have like a, a mental image of a spider falling down. Like you know that that nursery rhyme where the spider goes down the spout or whatever it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this spider can swim, so he's fine. That's just the mental image. Anyway, <laughs> I like that. enough about that. We have a really fast core from Crank. Did he ten gate? I think he did. I think he ten gated. This implies hyper early aggression. Um, or, or what? Or it can be sort of a, a tactic to scare tails and possibly Oof, follow that's up. That's so with dangerous, man. Cats. We're going to see. That's you're, you're right. I could, We both can be right, man. Uh, I've seen this done a lot where players do open up with this. They kind of scare you. They're like, I'm going to attack you with four gates, but they actually get a second gas and they play completely defensive. Well, not really defensive, but they, they just don't go for the four gate. But we're going to see. Um, it looks like the Zealot's on its way. Stalker also going to get started here for Crank. And, uh, you know, conserving all that Chrono Boost into the Cybernetics Core. Pylon, again, is going to control the Watchtower, so he actually might be right. Uh, he's going to move across the map right now with Zealot and Stalker. And Tails isn't scouting this at all. Um, no. He's getting a sentry out, though. Again, he's he's one of those guys that just likes playing safe builds. And likes just... Um, wait, let me look at his vision. Okay, he doesn't have control of the Watchtowers. Um, and likes just, you know, formulating his builds so that they are... No matter what his opponent does... He can have a way out, basically. He can have, he can formulate his build to make it so that you know it, it, he's not going to die. He has a zealot essentially mm -hmm. there, but guess what? There's a really fast zealot and a really fast doctor coming forward. So, worst case scenario, tails has to spend a force field at the bottom of his ramp, which is huge at this point. And two additional gateways coming down. Warp gate about to finish for crank. Now, worst case scenario, of course, the zealot and stalker get up, the sentry die, and tails loses the game. So. Both cases, this is gonna be so scary. He only has one gateway and a robo, and a zealot stalker gets up. And yeah, that's well, the pro gets through. How did the pro get through? It's over. Mineral walk, man. Mineral no, walk. but the force but shield. I don't is know there. how. Yeah, I don't know how he got up to the force shield. That's oh my point. god. But the probe. So unlucky. Uh, canceling the pylon. Looks like the probe is in the main. Uh, three gateways are almost gonna come up here for crank warp gate technology. Just getting started, and he is using, using his resources so well, man. Uh, he knows this was a very fast gateway, very fast warp gate, only going to be on three gateways, which is going to be enough to support here with the minimum probe count he does have currently being saturated. But yeah, oh. force field's trying to go in. Uh, They're going to try to trap some of these stalkers. One stalker might actually go down. Actually, nothing is going to go down. Um, Zealots are going to try to go to work here, but the thing is the pylons are in the main base, and uh, Tails is pulling probes, and he's in a lot of trouble. Yeah, man. And he was making a war prism, too. I don't think he saw the probe sneak by. He's like, dude, I put a force field down there. How can how can the probe possibly sneak by? It's some impressive probe micro here trying to trap these stalkers. Uh, but those are two zealots. Mm -hmm. And I don't I don't see how Tails can win this game. Um, 
One might say build order win, and actually I think that's true, a build order win. Because when Crank was attacking, actually getting a nice surround on the Stalkers with the probes, that's good. Keeping the Immortal alive, but now the Immortal is dead. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it's uh, it's looking pretty bad for Tails. The probe that got in was pretty huge. much the nail in the coffin, yeah. He built, he has a pylon on the lower ground. In the upper ground, the uh, Crank, Crank pretty much has this game one, even if Tails holds, uh, holds this off. Which might be possible, but it's going to be very hard. Crank is uh, going to try to micro these Stalkers. He didn't want to lose Stalkers. One Stalker's going to go down. So uh, Tails getting a little bit of a better engagement that time. But 16 supply to 27. Pretty dim lights here for Tails. Uh, one last final ditch, possibly. Yep. And uh, Crank should should have this, whether it continues to go on. It looks like it actually is going to go on. Wow. Uh, Crank is actually going to pull back and get a robotics facility. So that's an interesting decision. But overall, man, Crank has a superior economy. Only eight probes right now being mined for Tails. And, um... Hmm. Yeah. He needs a miracle. Um, Absolutely. That's what he needs. The good news is he's going to kill two pylons from his opponent here. So, Crank is going to have to rebuild those. And is that the only good news? Well, I mean, uh -oh. his, his robo's already done. His opponent just now getting his robo up. Adding on two sentries. Which again is is a gas sink that you'd prefer not to do at this point in the game. I don't think you'd rather use that on getting your robotics bay faster, perhaps, getting a Twilight Council. Um, yeah, but look, uh, what what? Not to cut you off, but if you think about it, fun. he has a robotics facility, but he's not getting gas. So what can he make? Who he, uh, he has? Yeah, no, he tails, has to rebuild tails. his economy. That's he the, has no gas. Right. And he's, yeah. he's absolutely down in harvester, so yeah. he's not even mining gas. He's trying to get as many probes as possible to get resources. To get the uh, to get uh, to get the gateway units to hold off any kind of additional attack from Crank. Yep. So no gas for any immortals, any observer. Nothing is really going to be on its way. Thirty nine supply for Crank. Twenty seven here for Tails. Crank going to play it safe. Looks like he might even expand behind this. Yeah. And uh, it's it's going to be a matter of time, man. That's all it's going to come down yeah, to. Yeah, man. I mean, Crank is essentially double the economy of his opponent, and this is definitely he's, he's so. If Tails wins this game, let me do something. That's crazy. I'm gonna do something crazy because he is in such a bad position. Um, but you know, yeah. I'm okay with this. It is a tournament. It is the finals of a tournament. It's you, only game one. Yeah, I mean, well, sure, but like, I you definitely want to stay in the game uh, sure. as long as possible. Just try to eke out a win if you can. He's gonna get a warpism out, but crank, you know, doing the same thing, getting observer here, and uh, gonna see exactly what his opponent is doing. Like when you get a good lead, that's like the first thing you should probably think about doing: get an observer. Not only because when you're behind, usually you go DT. Um, you know, you got to get that observer just to see what your opponent is doing, so you can appropriately react. Uh, appropriately react. So, crank here, gonna get a nexus back home, and uh, he's gonna be nice and safe here. Yeah, and a war prism on the way for tails. That's that's sort of strange. Um, maybe he's, he's gonna try for... to go for immortal drops to try to get back into this game economically. Uh, that wouldn't be a bad decision. Looks like he's actually going to follow it up with Immortal. And he is Ooh. getting War Prism speed. So if anything's going to help him, man, this might actually sort of start a comeback. Yeah. It's going to be very hard. But if he gets enough damage done here into the economy of Crank, drops Immortals into the main, takes out a few probes, okay. uh, that's all going to be really good. But yeah. 38 supply to 62. Expansion now done for Crank. And uh, just a mere fact, Harvester's actually not too bad right now. 30 probes to 22 for Tails. So it looks like he's trying so hard to get back into this game. It might be possible, but yeah, here it's going to be very, very hard. Here's a scenario that can happen. Um, Crank could attack. Tails could get a Warpism on the field, two Immortals inside, and go do some aggression. And when Crank is trying to kill Tails, he has a, he has a sentry. He can force field the bottom of the ramp. There's no blink. There's no massive units. Um, but the bad thing for Tails is Crank sees this. He has an observer. He knows everything that's going on. He sees the robotics bay. Um, he's going to see this war prism, pick up the immortals. Uh, I think. Did he? He should identify. I mean, he's sending stalkers across the map. Uh, yeah, there's a few immortals and sentries and zealots a little bit caught out of position, but... Uh, does he have any idea? Yeah, about no, the he knows. Person? Like, look, he's sending yeah, stalkers and an immortal I think, I think he knows, yeah. in the left hand side of his main. He's just gonna chill at his mineral line. So tails yeah. behind this. What does he do? He's mm, going colossi. So he's gonna stay one base colossi. He's gonna try to do damage with this war prism. But guess what's here? Stalkers. War prisms are pretty fast when they have speed, though, man. Looks like it's gonna be able to get away. But whoa, maybe a little bit overextending himself. Tails trying to drop into the natural, but. Stalkers are going to be there to meet him, and Tails 
Uh, Might actually lose this war prism, man. Uh, gonna be forced to drop some immortals. You know, wanna play it safe. War prism is gonna kinda hang out here at the left corner. Immortals are gonna try to do some damage. They're probably gonna go down. They're gonna get some damage done. Actually, they are not gonna go down. <laughs> they took out some immortals uh, and stalkers. But back home. I'll pick it up. Go. There we go. One Let's more shot on the stalker. Okay, you survived. It's gonna get away. So that was back kind of cool. Um. Well, what you could try to do there is kill all the stalkers with your immortal, and then nothing shoots up. So then you go in and pick up the immortal with your with your war prism, which is I think what he was trying to do. Um, well, I mean it was cute, but ultimately didn't work. And look at this, Tails has a colossi here. His opponent has he been going in the colossus production? No. So again, when you uh oh, colossus don't overextend, don't overextend. So who knows? Maybe Tails can do something with this. Yeah, Tails is gonna move forward right now with one colossus. This would be amazing and, uh, if he wins this. Yeah, he could do it, and, dude. Uh, he might, he might be able to do it. And the work is actually going to be very important. Might be able to even micro the Colossus, lift it up, pull it down. Force Field's trying to go down, really trying to block the Immortals, but not going to get the best Force Field possible there. Uh, second Colossus on the way, and Crank going to get started on Colossus production himself. We can see the first one is in production. It does have a decent amount of Immortals, actually four Immortals. So That's immortals. pretty good here for Crank. Uh, five Stalkers, three Sentries to be exact. And something that Crank can do, possibly, is he can he can try to focus down the Colossus with this many mortals. Oh yeah. But it's gonna be very hard. If uh, if Tails gets the right force fields, he only has two sentries. Uh, the Colossus is out. Yeah, second Colossus is out and it's gonna make its way across the map right now. It looks like Tails is gonna move forward right now. Guardian Shield goes up for both players, the immortals. Uh, focusing down some of these zealots, he is gonna try to do a little bit of cute micro here with the immortal, lifting it up, lift, uh, pulling it down. He is gonna try to focus down the Colossus, almost gets it down. But uh, Crank uh, seems to have way too much here for Tails to do, really do anything about it. He's even going to bring the Immortals forward right now. Uh, huge supply advantage right now. 95 supply, GG. 35 GG. And uh, Crank goes up 1-0 and in this best of 5 series. It's a good try. Um, it was a good try from Tails. I think his only hope there at the end was hitting before his opponent's Colossus got out and then just having ingenious Colossi control combined with the War Prism and then having phenomenal force fields. But uh, ultimately, Crank was able to get his Colossus out, and uh, there goes the advantage of having Massive when your opponent uh, doesn't. So, you know, good fight from Tails. You know, tried to do everything he could to get back into that game, especially after falling as far as he did. Um, but ultimately, it, it, it ended up not being enough, and he told me the map choice.